Hey guys, welcome to my channel Technicado Pro. <clears throat> Today we will learn in shell scripting how to make input output scripts. Okay, so input output scripts means what it shows by the name. You provide some input, and on the base of that particular input, the script will uh, print out some output. Okay, so how it works? It works like uh, uh, you uh, enter an uh, input in the particular script and then on by reading that input the script print outs an output so what we need to do is we'll use the two most widely used command in it these are read and echo okay so echo we have already seen what it does it prints the output on the screen now read, read is the part where the input is given and it will read that particular input, right? So what we'll do, we'll just jump to creating the scripts, correct? So I am currently in my scripts folder, right? So what we'll do, we'll uh, directly create a script. Right, so uh, what we'll name it input output scripts. Right, here we are. So we will again start like we were uh, doing it in, in the previous scripts. Uh, we are in the bash script. Okay, so in, sorry. right. Then again, we can put the these things or the date description. Okay. So let's start our script. What, uh, like I said, I like to start with echo. Give a blank line. Then again, echo. My name is. Abhishek. yeah again give a blank line now what it will do from here the read part will come right yeah so read what it will read it will read the input that was given in my previous echo command so my name is Abhishek. we cannot read name okay we cannot read like this because name is not a keyword right so what we'll do, do we'll just change it to my name correct this is the point where input will be given by the user right so we'll move ahead huh? so next okay we'll give a blank line okay now here is we'll read the input okay so what we'll do like my name is Abhishek and hello dollar my name now dollar here is uh, referred to the command line argument okay now command line argument i mean that whatever the my name value will be given it will be read here like my name is Abhishek then my name will be read and the uh, the output will be printed as hello avish okay so similarly you can add more uh, echoes in it so what we'll do we'll do echo echo what do you do right so I'll read my job suppose yeah again echo so you can add any more where do you live right so this my name my job my country these are uh, like containers where you hold the values right so we will again move ahead 
go just for the line right so we have made a script now let's save it and uh, run it and see what happens okay now we have saved the script let's check it out okay so this is our script uh, just uh, we we'll give the execute access also okay it's done let's execute our script see my name is abhishek Okay, so we have made a mistake in the script. Let's go back and check it out. Yeah. Just yeah. So so what we have done is it's directly reading my name. It won't read my name because we have to give another question. Okay. So what we'll do, we'll give another thing. What is your name? Okay. So here I will just give a random name. Right. So my name is Shell Script, then it will ask my name. I'll give my my name. What it will say? Hello. Abhishek, right? It will be my name. What do you do? I'll give my job. Then where do you live? I'll give my country. Okay, so we will again save it and we will again move ahead. So let's move it. The script is saved. I'll clear out the screen. Right? So again, let's check it out. It's all done. Just run it. What is your name? Okay. Hello, Vishayak. What do you do? Correct. Where do you live? India. The script is completed. So we have successfully executed the script. Now I just wanted to show you that. Uh, a little bit of complex changes that we can make in the script so we'll what we'll do we'll go into the script again okay now here what suppose i uh i don't want to give the name as shell script i want to read the name of my server or the the system which i am in okay so how do we do that uh, i'll show you So what I will do here, here I'll give a host name like a equals to host name. Host name means the machine I'm working in. So I'll remove this and we'll read the host name. Okay. So dollar a okay the a was given as host name now here the problem is that when we keep it as dollar a like here in in the other examples okay where it was reading hello my name what is what it was doing whatever my name was given it was reading it as it is that means it was printing it on the output screen as it is it wasn't making making any changes it wasn't taking the value of it it was just taking as it is so if we put dollar a here and a is equal to host name here what it will do it will print as my name is host name but we don't need host name okay we need the address of the host name so for that the the text come into the picture text is uh, below the escape button on your computer system right so what i'll do i'll put that text it will be covered in text right so now it will take the value of the host name whatever server i am in 
it will take that particular value right so let's save it and check it out that it works or not let's uh, again let's execute the script I will tell clear of the screen and it will be visible sorry yeah what is your name now here you can see it is generating the address of the server my host name you can see here again right so what is your name again I put it like this hello Vishal what do you do Linus admin India see so this is a, a step up in our input output script how to print out the value of something okay so let's move ahead and see what we are going to do next now let's move ahead we have uh, we will start with the scripts called as if then okay so it's a conditional scripts where you provide a condition under if and if that condition is satisfied then we go to the then statement or the else statement so let's check out let's first clear out the screen if else okay we'll start we'll learn about if else uh, scripts now to do that now again we are in the scripts folder right we'll create conditional scripts okay we'll go into it again we are back we are in bash Again, these I'm not filling it up. So let us uh, take a simple if else uh, script. Okay. So let us suppose we are given a case count is equal to 50. Okay. Then we'll use if. Uh, dollar count which will pick the above value is equals to sorry 50 then again echo Now we need to print it. So count this fifty. Okay. Else we okay. count fifty. Correct. And then we give fi 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 basically means it it uh, tells the script that your work is over and you need to exit now before moving ahead let's just do the proper identification which i forgot to mention let's do two so echo then is okay into this Echo go to this again or this is a blank and you can leave it like this and it will be here only this so it's done let's save it and let's run it hmm. 
now check out our script again we haven't provided the, uh, the execute access count is not 50 now why is it showing if we just cat it we'll see here what it was given count is 50 so we, we are verifying it if the count is equal to 50 then print count is 50 else not 50 so you can change the condition like this also like uh, you can put the count less than 50 and uh, if the count is not equal to, if the count is equal to 50 which is not the case then it will print the other line so it's a simple script using if and else where if then else it's the stand, uh, expanded form right so let's just make some more changes in it uh, with a new script and i'll show you how to do it right so the next script let's check it out if if it can locate a particular file in our uh, in in a particular space or a directory right so what i'll do i'll create another script i'll go inside it and create it now i'm not uh, creating a script step by step because it takes time i have explained the fundamentals you have understood it so let's make use of it and i'll directly paste the script which i have right it will save your time and my time time also right so what i've done is uh, i've taken a script uh, if condition where it will check for the path of home jerry scripts and under that error dot text so let's clear out what it is what is happening here so again i'll say that clear clear is used to clear out everything on the screen before the script runs right then it will come to the if condition if and minus e is used for the condition to find so in essence it, it tells you it tells you that it is going to check for the file okay so again this uh, slash was extra so it will check for the file error dot text under the path of slash home slash cherry slash scripts if it is if it exists it will show you as file exists if it doesn't it will show file does not exist simple and fine again end of the script so let's check out so script is saved and let's check again right so let's execute it file does not exist right so this is because there is no file under the uh, scripts folder name as error.txt you can check it here there is no file so let's create it sorry i have to insert it So we'll again uh, this uh, we have created the script we'll uh, sorry we have created a text file we'll save it and we'll again run it right so let's do it so again let's run the script file access okay so this is how you do the if else state so guys don't forget to check out my other videos in my channel and provide your feedback in the comment section. Subscribe my channel. Don't forget it. Bye-bye.